ladies and gentlemen, sorry, just gentlemen, there are no ladies on this channel. Welcome to the next battle in the Road to Montebor campaign. This is called Stalemate. And as you can see, you must win this mission to stay in the campaign. So regardless of what happens, we're going to be stuck. We're either going to have to quit the campaign if I can't win this mission, or I'm just going to have to throw bodies at it until we do win it. But uh, first considerations on this map is not actually the terrain. The first consideration is here in the briefing. We have four objectives. One is to destroy enemy forces. One is to control Le Maisnages. Maisnages. Control Le Goulet, and then friendly casualties greater than, less than 10%. So not only do I have to win this, but I have to win it without taking more than 10% casualties. But the primary consideration is the destruction of enemy forces. So I have to kill enemy troops. That's the most number of victory points I can get. Obviously, control of these two can guarantee a victory provided the situation develops well. But, eh... This is not looking particularly good for the overall campaign. Apparently, there's Monteborg Station up there on the road. Apparently, we're getting close to Monteborg, but we're not quite there yet. So, as far as tactical considerations go, number one, the enemy has had time to prepare their defenses. Remember that key phrase from the briefing, which means I will likely be seeing more wooden bunkers the only problem is I don't have any tripod mounted machine guns and I only have one on map 81 millimeter mortar team. I don't know where the other one is. There's supposed to be another one attached to dog company, but is just not here. Off map artillery, I do have one section of two 81 millimeter mortars. I got 100, 100 rounds of high explosive, and then apparently they have another 10 rounds of high explosive. I don't know what's going on there, but apparently they have 110 rounds. I've also got the 75mm pack howitzers. These are full up with 105 rounds of high explosive, or I can put down one heck of a smoke screen with 30 uh, white phosphorus rounds. Um, I am not going to pre-plan any artillery on this mission. I'm going to save everything I've got to deal with enemy bunkers or uh, light armored vehicles if I run across any. The briefing did mention there are some light armored vehicles. I don't know if that means half tracks or light tanks or what have you. But honestly, with the weapons available to my teams, I mean, it's 30 cal, 30 cal for days. I have no 50 cal. I have no other anti-tank weapons aside from a few bazookas that are scattered here and there throughout my force. So honestly, anything bigger than a half track... Sorry about that. Anything bigger than a half track is going to be a problem, even if it's like an armored car, that's going to be a problem. Uh, the best thing I could do is probably try to chase it off with machine gun fire and then maybe get a bazooka in to try to uh, deal with it, or maybe hit it with some artillery. But that's going to be a major pain in the ass. Also mentioned in the briefing is the fact that the enemy is protecting their flanks with minefields or they're expecting to protect their flanks with minefields aside from the fact that there is a flooded area over here that is is fordable apparently but trying to move through here and try to gain a tactical advantage from it would likely take quite some time. I mean guys moving through flooded and wet terrain like this usually move extremely slowly. Um... So with the primary consideration of being to destroy enemy forces, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have to put together some kind of uh, strong reconnaissance force to at least locate some enemies. Uh, I'm thinking my primary approach to the objectives is going to follow this crossing over here. We're going to cross, cut down around behind this field, and then approach the objectives from this direction. I don't want to try to move laterally. As you can see, there are, there's a wide open field over here. I don't want to try to move laterally across this open ground. Most likely there's enemies in these buildings. And despite the fact that it's raining, and it seems to be somewhat foggy or hazy, um, line of sight and spotting abilities in the rain are not... It, it doesn't hamper your spotting abilities all that much. And let's take a look at the conditions. We've got light fog and rain. So I'm looking at... There's probably spotting... 
abilities out to maybe like 400, 500 meters, it's not practically restricted. I mean, I probably can't sit in this hedgerow right here and see all the way to the other side of the map, but it's pretty close. There's absolutely no wind. The ground condition is wet, which is just fine for me. I've got nothing but infantry, so, and the temperature is cool. Not that that really makes a difference. But, uh, yeah, I'd say my, the approach route that I've decided on is just going to head down through this wooded area over here, and then we're going to approach Les Menages and Le Goulet up in this direction. However, that may change as the situation develops. I'm going to push some recon out into the open area if I can, at least just to try to see what I can see. If I can spot some bunkers, maybe I can get somebody up to call for fire on them. And if I can knock them out, like if there's a bunker in a key position, I can knock them out and that opens an approach route down this other end of the map. Maybe I could pounce on it. The only problem is I've only got one hour to complete my objectives. So um, whatever I'm, I end up doing, I'm going to have to move fairly quickly. But I do have two companies of parachute infantry. I got Easy Company over here. I got, sorry, Dog Company over here. And then the, uh, the Regimental HQ is on the map as well. So that'll help with some higher and lower C2 and things like that. But for the most part, I'm thinking I'm just going to lead off with Easy Company. They're going to head across the crossing and try to take Le Menage. Dog Company is going to stay in reserve for the most part. I'm going to detach some teams from these squads and have them move out and try to do some reconnaissance. Hopefully I can get some reconnaissance laid in along this hedge right here or this hedge right here. The only other terrain consideration on the map is the fact that there's no big hedgerows anywhere. It's all the low bocage type. It's all the low hedgerow type. So it restricts your movement slightly, but this is all like really tiny hedge. This doesn't offer a whole lot of cover, but that also means the defenders can't use it against me either. This is not strictly a hedgerow battle. You could almost call this open terrain if it just wasn't for the fact that there's, there's hedges and trees all over the place. So this is going likely going to move a lot faster and the firefights are going to be shorter but more vicious because neither side has a particularly good amount of cover available to it. I think the best thing I could probably do, I mean even the railroad tracks, they're not really on like an embankment that you can use for cover. See how flat it is? It's very flat all the way through here. And then the enemy is going to be on the forward slope of kind of a hill over there. Once you get up to this road right here, you look, you can see how the terrain slopes down towards the railroad and then up on the other side. So we're likely going to end up in some long range uh, firefights if I string myself out along this road. And that would not be good thing for me. Because if the enemy does have bunkers, I'd likely be pinned down and torn to shreds very quickly. So this battle is going to rely on a rather intense reconnaissance effort from Dog Company. Easy Company is just going to try to seize this crossing area and the flooded area over here by coup de main. They're just going to go for it straight up the entire company. I'm going to put two platoons forward, have one in reserve. But we're just going to push as hard as we can through this area called the Quadrangle. And then we're going to try to get into this objective right here because once again this building it's a two-story heavy building. The terrain around it is not particularly high, high density, and you can basically put, put fire down almost all the way to that hedgerow back there. That's the only other significant position on this map. This is a very, this is a tall hedgerow right here. Likely it's protecting an enemy deployment zone back here somewhere. But, uh, or maybe it's some kind of enemy reinforcements will be coming in, because it did say expect light armored vehicles, so... There's some question as to whether or not the enemy will receive reinforcements during the battle. Uh, other than that, that's about it. I'm just going to keep recording the uh, recording the action as I usually do. And like I said, our conduct in this battle will determine the fate of the campaign. We either get dumped out with some kind of a loss, or if I can pull together even a minor victory, I think would still let me advance. But uh, I'm definitely on the losing track, I think, so I'm going to have to be very careful. Other than that, I'll talk to you all later. Okay, bye. What a crock.
squad, move in. Ready for anything. They know we're here, Jets. Check your weapons and ammo. You hear me? Quick. Your eyes open, soldier.
Something's going down. Stay alert! You, private! Check Come in! in. 